Coming up next, Vanguard Cinema presents The Lair of the White Worm, our Cinemax New Wave film directed by Ken Russell. But in the meantime, let's close out our salute to Prince with the U.S. premiere of a very special documentary, Prince Musical Portrait. And remember, Max rocks. It's, it's quite interesting, really, because you never seem to get a middle ground with this guy. There's no one I've ever met that can just say, well, he's OK. Uh, you either hate him or you love him. I've had some real tussles with people that are so anti him that I don't see that he'll ever change. When people say that he's selling out or that he's a commercial, you know, kind of exploiter, then I can't see that point at all. And, and uh, in that area, I feel like I know what I'm talking about. Hey! Tear the roof off! Tear the roof off, the motherfucker! Tear the roof off, the sucker! Tear the roof off, come! Tear the roof off, the motherfucker! Tear the roof off, the sucker! Would you like to... I think you have a good... We call it positive nuisance. That's how I used to call it, you know, a positive nuisance. And he is that positive nuisance. You know, you say, oh, shit, he had something. Well, who's doing it? But then it's Prince. Okay, it's accepted. It's good. He is that positive nuisance right now. <laughs> it was through him that I think I gained my own sense of Forget what people say, forget what record companies and other people who think they know what's going on say you must do to be successful. Do what that voice in your head tells you to do, and, every, and if you trust that and believe that, everything will be all right. And I know a lot of people that work with Prince, so he lets the engineer set up the board and everything else. And he says, tells the engineer to disappear, and he stays in with the artist, whether he's overdubbing or whatever. And I think that's that's great. It's a highly personal form of creativity, but it may be putting a little bit too much on your shoulder to try to make all of those decisions yourself. less product and and it would be more appreciated and, and more thought on and people would appreciate his gift more because god has blessed him with so much and he can just give a little at a time you know a little bit of something beats a whole lot of nothing he's bringing people together of all races creeds and colors and I'm very proud of that. Everyone who has a normal life, another life, when you come to his concerts, 
you step over to his side. He has a, he has a completely different life. And you feel it when you come to his concert. It makes you feel good. If he latches onto an emotion, he gets everyone else to go with him, and that's what he's after, just the emotion. It doesn't matter the words or the song, I don't think. He gets that feeling yeah, yeah, that we're all yeah. one generation, which we've been missing. But you leave a concert like this inspired. He's actually got the nerve to say, God's alive. How many people can say that, you know, to 17,000 people and get them all to say it back to him? It's great, you know, it's positive. It tells you that there's a future to the world, and he's got a message, he's got a reason for being up there. not selling records like uh, uh, Def Leppard, you know. Uh, but uh, it's just a lucky break that he's around. They ought to notice him a little more, but he puts, people get put off by his persona, you know, that he's so remote and isn't, doesn't appear to be a friendly fella and always appears so serious. Though his stuff has great humor in it, you know, you can tell that he couldn't be a bad guy. People don't understand that, you know. They don't understand that he doesn't hear Ravel when he wants to make love to his woman. He hears drums and shit. got the space, you know, he uses space real good. But he's, he's changing, you know what I mean? He's, every time I hear him, it's a little, it's a little bit more, you know? A little bit more. 